Okay, so in this section, we're gonna implement the overlay effect when we hover over an image. All right, so if we go to the final project and we hover over an image, you can see that that image info fades into place. Okay, we have the title and then just a description, um, background color, and I just have a, um, a faded out image of a magnifying glass. All right, so what we're gonna do is attach to each um, list item, I'm sorry, each image, uh, some data attributes. I'm sorry, not the image, the list item. Okay, so we have each image surrounded in a list or a list item. So what we're gonna do is go and put in data title, and then we'll also have, uh, we'll do data DESC for description. Okay, so let's see, project one. And I'm just gonna grab some text and paste it in here. All right, and we're gonna do this for all the list items. So I'm just gonna copy this. close this over here okay CMS there whoops we don't want that inside of the quote shoot Okay, so now I'm gonna change the title. I'm just gonna do project one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'm just gonna leave the description the same for all of them. Okay, let me just make sure we didn't mess up anything here. All right, so now that we have that, that info attached to each, each list item, um, now we're gonna go into the JavaScript and create a click event. I'm sorry, not a click event, a mouse enter event. All right, so we're gonna use mouse enter and mouse leave. So you wanna make sure you're still inside the document ready function. All right, so it would be right here. And we're gonna grab the UL gallery list item, and then we'll use on. Okay, so on mouse enter, we wanna run a function. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is get the data attribute values. Okay, so we'll create a, a new variable, call it title, and set it to this, meaning the one that's hovered or the mouse enter event happens. Um, we'll say this dot children dot data title. All right, so this data is just gonna grab any attribute that has data in front of it and then we put the end of it on in here. So data title will match data title. All right, so let's also get the description. So I'm just gonna copy this. And variable DESC. And then we'll just change this DESC. Okay, so now we have that content in these variables. All right, so let's do, um, we need to figure out what we're gonna do if the title and the description are not there, okay? So if these aren't here, what do we wanna do? Um, for the title, 
we're just going to set it blank all right uh, if there's no title here if there's no description I just want to I want to display the text click to enlarge all right so we'll just do some simple validation here all right so we'll say if description is equal to nothing I'm sorry is equal to null then description is going to equal click to enlarge okay so if title is equal to null then we're just going to set title is equal to nothing okay now the next thing we need to create a div to insert this this um, title and description into and rather than manually uh, putting in a di an overlay div after or in the list item we're going to create it with jQuery okay so um, create overlay div okay so what we have to do is we're going to use append so whatever uh, image is hovered or mouse entered, uh, we're going to say append, and we want to append a div with the class of overlay. And then we want to get the overlay div. So variable overlay is equal to this dot children dot overlay. All right, now what we want to do with this is insert something into it. All right, so say add HTML to overlay. And we're going to use the dot HTML method. And what we're going to put in here is we'll put an H3 first of all. And I want to concatenate onto that the title. And then we'll have a paragraph. And we're going to concatenate the description. Okay, and finally we want to fade in the overlay. And we'll use fade in. And let's make the speed 800. All right, so let's try this out. All right, so um, it looks like it's working, but we we uh, we don't have a mouse leave event, so they're all just staying like that. And also, we haven't styled it at all. Um, so let's go ahead and do the mouse leave event. So you want to go outside of the the mouse enter event, but you want to stay within the document ready function. So we want to go right here. Sleeve overlay. Let's put a comment here as well. All right, so we're going to do pretty much going to be very similar. Okay, we want to get the UL with the ID of gallery list item, and we're going to say dot on, and this time we want to say mouse leave. And we're going to run a function. Whoops. All right, so when we leave, we're going to create an overlay div again. Um, so I'm actually going to copy this up here. I want to 
grab this and this. All right, and then I simply want to fade it out. And we'll do 500 here. Okay, so let's see what that does. All right, so it's working, but um, the CSS is, it needs to be done. Because right now, the overlay is just getting put in there. It's not positioned. We need to position it absolute. We need to set the width and things like that. So let's go to our CSS. And let's see, what do we want to do? Let's go down under the footer and create overlay style sheet and first thing we want to do here is make sure that it's display none okay when the page loads um, background we're gonna make this that greenish color which is uh, 0 3 8 9 9 C and we need a number sign here uh, and we're also gonna add the image to the background that magnifying glass I think we brought it over already yeah it's right here all right so after this we just want to say URL it's gonna be no repeat and we want top center IMG slash the image is called overlay dot PNG All right, so next, the color of the text should be white. Uh, we want to position this absolute. We want it to go right over the image. And I'm going to set it to top zero and left zero. And then the Z index, I'm going to bring that up so that it go, it, make sure it goes over the image. I'm going to make that 100. Uh, the width should be 100% and so should the height. Let's give it some padding for the text of 20 pixels and a border radius. Uh, border radius 5 pixels and box sizing we want box border. And then finally, we want to set pointer events to none. And pointer events to none, what this is going to do is we're going to have a light box. Um, in the next video, we'll implement a light box when we click on it. Uh, but initially, when you hover over it and this div covers it, it's going to cover the link as well for the image. So when we click it, it's not going to do anything. Having this here, pointer events none, lets us basically click right through it on onto the uh, the image under it all right so that's what this does all right so let's style uh not really style let's zero out the margin and padding on the heading so overlay h3 zero zero all right let's see what this looks like it should look like that All right, so it's too big. I'm not sure why. Um, it's also not bringing in the uh, variables, the content from the data. So something's not right. All right, well, I see the sizing issue. Uh, box sizing, this should be border box, not box border. All right, because without this, we're adding the 20 pixels padding to the width and height, so it's going to make it bigger. Okay, so that should fix that. All right, so that's good. The image is showing. Um, so now something's up with um, our data, our text coming from our data attributes here. So data title, data description.
and I know the problem. What the problem is, this sh these should actually be in the link, not the list item. Okay, so data title and data description. We need to remove them from the list item and put them with the link. Okay, so after this href. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and just and move all these. All right, so I've moved the data attributes off the list item and onto the link to the a tag. So let's try that out. And now it's working. All right. So if we don't have let's for project one, let's say we don't have the data title or the description attached. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, so you can see now it just says click to enlarge. All right, I'm going to put that back. So that's it for the overlay. Uh, in the next video, we'll go ahead and implement the fancy box script so that we can actually click on an image and have it open bigger in a light box.